Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Bat 20, our Halloween special here on That 20, uh, where characters have found themselves lost and bewildered in the fictional campground of Camp Fear. Uh, in the last episode, everything kind of went to shit. Um, Riku had a bloodier loss of virginity than he had planned. Uh, our dear William had a, an encounter with someone he wasn't expecting to have an encounter with at all in the woods. And is now being chased as he makes his way to the church. Uh, Kenneth beat the shit out of Scary Gary. Gave him a concussion. <laughs> Trent got badly injured. And Kenneth, being the honorable man that he is, drove him and Brother Ferguson and Riku towards Main Hall. Where they met up with Jessica and Philip while Justin was upstairs trying to fix the radio system. I also did sick drifts. And you yeah. did sick drifts did sick to drifts. dodge the murderer. Yes. And Ness is dead. <laughs> hmm? Nessa's dead. Nessa's dead. Yeah, she got her head cut off riding you. It was pretty <laughs> weird. I mean, pros and cons. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's some ups and downs, really. It was. <clears throat> no, I just wanted like a back of. Yeah. But now, uh, Kenneth is driving the golf cart down towards uh, the church with Jessica in the passenger seat. We didn't take the other golf cart. Uh, well, she was planning on everyone coming, but instead it was just you three. So you don't need this. Like, the golf main cart. cast. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, need the right. golf cart anymore. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Sorry. Uh, so it's just you guys, and right, you're I'm driving. speeding down the pathway. It'll probably take you about five minutes driving the golf cart at top speed. you got to go around. Okay. The sh- you, there's no path through the tree, so you have to go around the showers and take the right path <sighs> right. through the abandoned cabins, and then you'll find hey, the... As we're driving down to the, the showers, I say to Jessica, I'm like, this is where we saw the guy with the knife before, and I did a sick drift around him. <laughs> That sounds really exciting. Uh, take the corner a little carefully, though. We can't really afford to crash. You got it. I'm just gonna like drift around it. <laughs> <laughs> roll a performance check. You oh, if he gets a one, man, <laughs> you didn't make me roll last time. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, did you? Yeah, you yeah, got you really high. Though. Though. You got like 19 or something. Oh, I got 10. 10. Um, you make the drift. You feel the wheels whir through the dirt, and then the two right wheels lift off the ground wobble but then they fall back down with oh, a hard thud a and really. for a second everything's fine and then you feel a hard, hard sting when jessica slaps you in the face <laughs> <laughs> and says can you please drive like a fucking normal person we have enough on our mind i don't need you to kill me too if i did it wouldn't be the worst thing <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm surrounded by idiots <laughs> <laughs> Or just have sex with Riku and you'll be dead for sure. (laughs) (laughs) I heard he's a killer lay. (laughs) Fuck off. Uh, She doesn't appreciate that joke very much. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm just joking around. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Oh my goodness. I'm still kind of numb, so whatever. <laughs> you guys but are now, making- but now you're hyped up, aren't you? <clears throat> Not really. I'm just back in character. Still uh, fucking traumatized. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fair. You continue up along the path, dirt pathway, and you see uh, an image in the distance grow larger and larger as you see the three abandoned cabins um, coming into view. They're old, raggedy. A lot of them look like they may have been on fire at one point. Wood is crumbling. Doors are hanging off the hinges. You, they're blackened and grayish wood. Like they're several years under overdue for some fixing up. Uh, you know that these were cabins that originally were planned to be renovated, but were way too far gone. Yeah. So Justin has marked them off as off limits because of the dangers. Uh, and they just left standing there waiting for them to collapse on their own. Uh, you yeah. have to drive through the small clearing with the three cabins to head straight towards the nearest fire pit and the church. Uh, there's no way around them at all? No, there's no pathways. You, if you're taking the golf cart, you have to go through them. Okay. Um, I yeah. guess thinking nothing less, I just drive through them. You drive through I, them? Yeah, and I also say, I'm like, man, this campsite kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, this area is supposed to be off limits, you dolt. Just no, says. I mean, the entire camp sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because there's a murderer? Yeah, <laughs> I was just something real. I just wanted to like clap back, but uh, nah, really... yeah, no, it kind of sucks now. Anyway, it's not important. Well, uh, let's find your friends before they get hurt. 
<coughs> yeah, I sure hope they're okay. As long as the guy in the church. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, uh William, you would have just made it to the church by now. Uh, you're in serious pain. Uh, you still have the backpack on you, right? Yeah. You have a knife jammed into your side. And you know out there somewhere is your friend, <laughs> air quotes, friend Todd Toddley with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you he's gonna you appro- approach the church from behind. You see lights on a door wide open as light streams out onto the back porchway that leads into the graveyard. And you see a disgusting, disfigured corpse resting against one of the tombstones, blood everywhere, brain matter flecking across his shirt and down the carved tombstone. Cool. Uh, I don't really give that body a second glance. Well, I'll, uh, I'll hesitate at the, at the steps, pulls a knife out of my back. So I at least have like a weapon, I mm-hmm. guess. And then I'll go through the front doors, <coughs> see what's inside. Uh, well, the back door's open, so... Inside is just a little entryway where he leaves his shoes and he hangs his coat. There's a hallway leading out into the sermon area, but then there's a door on the left that is closed. Okay. Well, I'll close the door behind me as I go in. I, you lock it? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. There, he has a lock, so it clicks. And I'll start searching the whole place, starting with the closest door. The bedroom? Yeah. Okay, so you enter the priest's bedroom. Um, it's very small. It has a desk with a little lamplight illuminating where he writes his sermons, uh, and a chair, and then a small bed, a cupboard above the desk, and then a dresser off to the corner. Okay. Uh, I'll search, search the cupboard. So in the cupboard, there's food on the right side, canned food, boxes and crackers. <clears throat> on the left side, there are shotgun shells. I'll pocket those. Okay. And uh, I'll search the dresser next after that. Uh, top drawer, underwear. Uh, that's top left drawer, sorry. Top right drawer, socks. Second drawer down is just his shirts. Uh, make a perception check. Investigation, sorry. 14. 14? Uh, looks like there's something underneath the shirts. I'll lift up the shirts. Uh, you find there a shotgun. Dope. Holy fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Glad I didn't anger them. Uh, Wow. I'll throw the ore off to the side. I don't really need that anymore. <laughs> what do you throw to the side? The ore. Oh, or do I even have right, that right, right, right. You, you clatters to the ground with a, a satisfying thud as you lift from it the pump shotgun. And I fucking load that shit and rack it. It's already loaded. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So you found shotgun shells. You found eight of them. And one in there, so nine total. <laughs> the smiter. So the shotgun is a plus two range weapon. That deals 1d12 plus your dex. Okay. Not your preferred weapon of choice, but better than a knife. And 1d12? A canoe or 1d12. Cool. And uh, is there like a window in this uh, room? Not in the bedroom. Cool. I'll start searching the rest of the house. Rest of the house? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you leave... Um, the sermon area is pretty much devoid of anything. There's the raised dais where he normally does his sermons, or used to. There's rows of benches where people would sit, uh, tapestries all along the walls, and a, a large cross with Jesus, of course, uh, behind the dais. Otherwise, you don't see much. Make a perception check. Okay. Uh, it's 18. 18. You notice uh, some of the wood on the large cross at eye level seems a little off. I'll investigate that. Kind of... See what's up with it. Okay. Uh, as you feel around, you can feel like a little push area. And you do, it clicks and it pops open. And there's a hidden compartment that has three strange looking vials. You're not sure what those are supposed to be. Look like potions of some sort. Uh, and you find a small knife. Okay. Uh, I'll leave the knife because I already have one. Yeah. You don't know what the potions are. Yeah. You don't I'll- have any idea. I'll put the potions in my backpack. Okay. and Sorry, I also forgot to mention there is one medicine kit in there. I'll take the medicine kit too. And I'll patch myself up. I'll patch up my uh, my knife wound. Okay, uh, roll a medicine check. 11. 11, you heal 1d6. 3. Okay. Um, as you're patching yourself up, you're wrapping yourself with gauze, you hear 
a noise outside, like footsteps. And you don't know who it is, um, but you do hear it. Okay. And like I'm right, it's you. right by the cross, and like there's this podium right in front of me, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, a little alleyway kind of has three benches on each side. Okay. And then there's doors like right in front of me. And then there's the front exit. I'm going to just stand at the podium with my shotgun ready, point at the doors. Okay. And just then, you were approached the back of the yeah, church. Yeah, I'm, well. I'm staying in the forest because, like, I saw him go into the church, and I feel that he's going to tell people the right way, so I'm kind of trying to figure out my plan, whether I should actually go in, so I haven't actually gone anywhere yet. No. And you do see the crumpled and disfigured corpse as well, and uh, make a perception check. That's an eight. You don't see anything else. Okay. Just that the lights are on. I'm just going to stay hidden in the forest and just watch. Okay, roll a stealth check. 25. 25. You melt into the shadows. Figuratively. Uh, (laughs) Just as you do, you hear the whirring of tires. As the golf cart of saviors arrives outside the front of the church. Hang ten. You see lights on. um, And... A shadow through the front window. But that's it. Kenneth. Riku. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I roar up and I stop. Um, I'm like, we have arrived. Um, we have the beef. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so I get out and I take my oar in hand. Um, I scan across. I scan around. Like I look around uh, like the church area to see. Everything like to see if I notice like the the dead priest and like. So you're gonna walk around the church as a whole, because um, it's in well, the back. It's a, behind the building. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you have to go through the main gate and then the chain link gate to get to the graveyard. Uh, okay. Um, I see these two. I'm like, what's her plan of attack? I I see a shadow in the church, so maybe the priest is alive and well. We can only hope that that is the case. Jessica says, uh, what, what do you mean plan of attack? I thought we were here to pick up our friends. Like, is the <laughs> priest, is he the murderer? I have no idea. <laughs> but I just mean, like, like attack as in, what are we gonna do? Because there's a giant murder man with a, a knife going around <laughs> slashing dudes. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna get the priest, as well as our two other friends, back to the hall. She strides past you. She says, we can do that by knocking. And then she slams her fist against the door. She says, Father Nicholas, Father Nicholas, are you all right? And you hear it. Um, well, after Todd betrayed me, <laughs> I don't really trust anyone else. Because I don't know what's going on at this camp. That's fair. Uh, I stay silent. I I knock as well. And I'm like, bro, are <laughs> you okay in there? Can you please let us in? The fuck are you doing here, Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> My bro, Will. Are you? All- I recognize it's him, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's not. I'm like, are you all right? Where is the priest and where is Todd? It's gonna look real bad for you. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just get in here. I'm oh. Assuming the door is unlocked. No, it's not unlocked. Okay, well, I'll m- make my way to the front door and you unlock it. Let them in. Okay, the three of you spill into the room with. Uh, William there. Uh, you see the six benches separated by an alley, the raised dais, uh, and the large cross with a piece of wood sticking out. Mm. Um, as soon as they're inside, I shut the door again. Um, yeah. Just quickly before, when we went and I, we were at the hall, and you said Phil probably had the key for the car. Did we get that from him? I know we didn't say so, but... Uh, I, yeah, we'll just say, cause, like, there's two keys, there's two golf carts. I would assume he would just give you the key if you Okay, because I was just going to say, like, I would shut off and take the key. Yeah, no, you're right. That's a fair assumption. That was my okay. bad. Okay, no, I just and wanted to double check. Yes. An Ubisoft. An Ubisoft. I wreck on that. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys spill into the church. Uh, what do you do? Um, do we do, I, do we notice how badly wounded he You would was? see that he's patched his cha- his stomach area up, and you see a wound in his leg that is seeping through the cloth of his jeans. They got to you as well. I'm kind of sitting there, still not trusting them. He does have a shotgun pointed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Will, what is going on, my bro? Uh, long story short, Todd tried to kill me. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> also, I'm a cop and he has my gun. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Holy fuck. Just because, like, several questions. <laughs> You're a police officer? Yes. Why are you at a kid's camp? I am following uh, a serial killer. His motto is literally just attacking fucking uh, camps and killing everyone. And I was sent in here to stop him. You think... Do you think it's this dude with the shirt or is it Todd? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going to either kill him or capture them both. <laughs> Let's just kill them all. I don't see us capturing the hulking dude. Maybe Todd, but... Honestly, you said he has a gun? He has my gun, yes. <sighs> the fuck? I should have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she takes the bow off her shoulder and notches an arrow, just, like, nervously. Where is the priest? I'm gonna look for weapons. You um, roll a perception check. I feel like you don't need to know that. Ooh, 16. 16. Um, you go to the back, towards the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Um, you look in, don't see anything right away. You look out the window of the back door, and you see a horrifying sight. Of the priest, oh, his body disfigured fuck. and crunched, blood everywhere. And you also see the handle of a shovel buried into one of the graves. It's the only All right. weapon. <coughs> see, do you want to look in the room? Or? Uh, I'll, I don't really want to go outside right now, so I'll look in the room first, and then if I don't find anything else, I'll go get the shovel. Okay. Um, roll an investigation check. Nat. Fucking 20. Sorry. Uh, you explore the room. Um, you tear open the drawers of the desk. Uh, and you find inside some uh, shotgun shells. Sweet. Like three or four. Okay. Just not in cases. They're just kind of there. Yeah, just, okay. Uh, you find a diary. Um, you see his sermon notes. Mm-hmm. Diary of a wimpy kid. I was gonna- <laughs> <laughs> you two are the same person. <laughs> It's a good joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, and you see a phone number written on a piece of paper. And then the name above it, Clyde. Call Clyde. And on the back, for emergencies. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Is there a phone around? No. Oh. You assume cell phone, but... Did I pick up... Yeah, I'm assuming I picked up my phone when I grabbed everything else. Yeah. But, like, like yeah. we mentioned before, yeah, there's perception no. is shot. Um, you can try it now if you want. I can want, give but... you a weapon if you want. Well, we'll see if I find anything. Yet. Oh, just letting you know I have Yeah, anything. thanks, man. Is that all I find? The diary? That's all you find. Diary. Phone number. Phone Nothing number else. for the name Clyde. Sounds hot. I like that. Like a Clyde <laughs> Dale. Clyde's Dale. And then you know there's a shovel outside. Okay. So I'm still asking you about the priest. I'm like, uh, is yeah, he at least... All right. Uh, the less you know, the better. <laughs> I don't want to traumatize you. So, is that like a <laughs> yes or a no? That's up in the air. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, like, stealth out the back and, like, sneakily, like, try and look around, make sure that nobody's around, and okay. about to kill me, and go get the shovel. Okay, uh, make a stealth check, make a perception check. Shit. Okay, 15. <laughs> A perception? Fuck six, seven. You don't... You hear the door creak and you think you see something, but then nothing there. Okay. Confused. You keep search on the front door. That's where they went in. That's where they should come out. And you make your way to... Shovel. Shovel. Okay. You... Easily enough, you grab the shovel. And I see the priest just there, dead. Yeah. Disfigured, head smashed. His neck is all kinds of fucked up. Like an accordion spring. There's... Blood all over the place. I've seen too much death. At least he's by the grave. Yeah, easy to bury him. All right, I'll grab the shovel and scurry back inside. Scurry back inside? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and for now, we'll <coughs> make our way back over to Brother Ferguson, who is watching over the two unconscious corpses with Philip. Yep. Yeah. Justin's upstairs trying to fix the radio. Very nice. Yeah. Your friends have just left. Ah! Uh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's just, uh, right now it's just me, Philip, and then two unconscious dudes. Mm hmm. Justin's upstairs. Okay. Uh, uh. Sorry, um, Justin's upstairs. I thought you said Jessica. 
Or no, you... Justin. Oh, yeah. sorry. Um, <laughs> what are you doing, Brother Ferguson? Philip is like pacing back and forth. He's like, I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe they all got themselves killed, man. <laughs> Changed his voice again by accident. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they went to the church. That's not some place I would recommend going at this why, time. But... Why wouldn't we go to the church? What's over there? Yeah, it's holy grounds have been tainted. With what? Blood. No, oh, no. shit. The priest's dead? Is the priest dead? Uh, a little more than dead, I would say. <laughs> Dude, that guy creeped me the fuck out. I won't lie. <laughs> a little more than dead? <laughs> what does that mean? That's kind of disturbing, but I didn't really like the guy. Uh man. So what are we got? Uh, we got a problem with some dude in a flannel shirt and a machete? It's fucked up. Glad I got the cooking job, man. I'm not leaving this fucking house. <laughs> all right, well, uh, I need to make sure everyone's all right, so I'm going to go check on Justin. Uh, if you can make sure nothing happens to these two, that would, that would be most gracious of you. Anything, man. I don't really feel like going anywhere. I'm kind of freaked out, I'm not going to lie. I know I look calm and poised and totally in control, but I'm freaking the fuck out. Don't worry, the Lord is with us. Okay. <laughs> <We'll> see, <man. laughs> I, I haven't got a church in seven years, but whatever you say, buddy. And he like sits down in the armchair next to the fire and he's like rubbing his head, like nervously playing with the knife in his hand. Alright, I'm gonna go up to see Justin. Okay. Uh you make your way up the stairs. I'm going to sneak up there. Uh you sneak roll stealth Five. check. Shit. <laughs> Seven. You make your way up the stairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You, it creaks under your feet. Like, it's not very stealthy. You can tell by yourself knowing, like, someone's hearing you coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, you make your way up. You head down the hall. Uh, first door on your right is the sports equipment room, which is still a jar for when they grab the ultimate Frisbee and uh, whatever they needed. And Is there any? Oh, yeah. I'll take a look in that sports equipment room. Right okay, now. roll an investigation check. I'm looking for anything blunt. Ooh. Uh, blunt, put it bluntly. 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, perfect. Dirty 20. You find uh, a small case. Looks like a tw- like a, one of those carrying plastic tool kits. Mm-hmm. But you see that off to the side. Uh, you see an aluminum baseball bat in the corner. Mm-hmm. You see gloves, a baseball. You see uh, a hockey stick. Don't know why there's a hockey stick. But, uh, <laughs> just one hockey stick. <laughs> just one hockey stick. Justin's a weird guy. <laughs> uh, and you also see a walking stick leaning up against one of the corners. Yeah, that's what you see. Mm. Hmm. Walk with it. I'm going to grab that walking stick. Grab the walking stick? Mm hmm. Okay, so this is a versatile quarterstaff, technically. It'll deal 1d8 or 1d10 uh, plus strength bludgeoning. 1d10? If you use two hands. 1d8 if you use one hand. Plus your strength modifier. I'm going to take that bat as well. The bat? The aluminum bat. Okay, that's a plus two weapon that deals 1d12 plus strength. This is much as a shotgun. It's a fucking heavy ass <laughs> baseball bat. Walking sticks plus one. Yeah. All right. Um, and then all that's left now is the hockey stick, the tool kit. Mm-hmm. But you know, there's no tools in here. Uh, what else was it? What else did I say? That's it. I think I'm going to carefully look around the door back into the hall. Um, and Justin's not just anywhere visible right now. As far as you know, he's just in the, the last room on the right, last working on the radio. Room. Okay, I'm going to make my way to that room. Okay. Um, take that aluminum bat, I'm going to put it right up against the door, like on the side, on the wall. So that it's right around the corner. And I'm going to take the walk and stick, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to, you know, limp, whatever. And um, I'm going to make my leg change to a more deformed look. Okay. I'm going to sh- yeah, shape it a little funny. Okay, like twisted? Yeah, like twisted. Like, it looks like my ankle's been broken. Okay. So you hobble in with a broken-looking angle. Yeah. And Justin isn't paying attention. He's hovering over the thing. He's like, fuck, I can't believe I, I should have fucking fixed this. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm going to I want to creep my way up behind him. Okay, not saying anything? Not saying anything, being as quiet as I can. Doesn't notice you. He's engrossed. All right, take him a walk and stick. I'm whacking him right on the head as hard as I can to render him unconscious. Okay, roll a, roll to hit. Or actually, you succeed automatically. He's not paying attention. So, are you using both hands or one hand? Both hands. Okay, so deal 1d10 plus your strength. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, yeah. 
strength. Okay, so that's just eight. Just eight? <laughs> yeah. It cracks against the back of his skull. He falls forward, hits his head on top of the radio, and goes, Ugh! and starts to stand back up and turn. Whip him again. <laughs> uh, he's going to make a dex save. He dodges. Shit. He drops down, his instinct's kicking in, and he gets up and he like pushes you back. He doesn't do any damage, you just you get pushed back five feet. And he goes, what the fuck, man? His nose is bleeding. He's, what are you doing? Oh, okay. He does, he, does he see my face right now? Or is my face facing away from me? No, he sees your face. Okay. Uh, this is bad, then. <laughs> uh, he looks I'm, pretty fucked up, though. You got a good hit in. <sighs> All right, I'm going to get up. Uh, I'm going to toss the walking stick back out the doorway. And I'm just going to be like, look, man. I, brother, I saw something strange in you. I saw some evil. I'm not sure what it is, but I felt I had to hit it. And once I did, I realized there was no evil. It was just you. Broke my fucking nose! What are you talking about? Look, um, I'm going to back my way up to the doorway. He falls off you pretty pissed off. Dude, you can't... The f- evil? I'm going to fucking... grab that batter on the corner. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm going to swing my, swing my way around and bring the bat up. <laughs> Roll the hit. <laughs> Poor Justin. He didn't deserve this. No, he just oh wanted to. That's a home run. 18. <laughs> <laughs> That's a home run. As you smash the bat into the side of his face, roll it old damage. Okay, that's a Luna baseball 12. bat is 1d12 plus strength. Yo. That's Imagine nine. if you would have got a bat 20. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, come uh, on! What that was fuck. <laughs> what is your roll? Nine plus two, or already added to plus two? Is there plus just... two bat? Oh, then yeah, with the plus two, or without the plus two, so the nine. Oh, eleven. 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 Okay. Ah, uh, he crumples. Yes. <laughs> you guys keep giving everyone concussions. Uh, but he's on the floor unconscious, and you hear downstairs Philip go, Hey, what, what was that? Everything cool up there? Uh, yes, brother. Everything is fine. I simply merely tripped. Deception check. <laughs> sure, it sounded like a really heavy fall, man. I want to make sure you're okay. 23. Oh, yeah, you sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do any drugs. <laughs> okay, I'm a priest of the Lord. I will not do any drugs. Yeah, last priest I knew wasn't really priestly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to... Does it look like there's a... Uh, do I have... Do you think there would be any tools around that I could... Conjure my... Make my circle. You have chalk in pockets, though. I still do. Nice. <laughs> I'm carrying... I'm dragging them into the radio room. Um, this is fucked up. I'm going to close the door, <laughs> um, and the door opens inwards, right, into the radio room? Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, is there a chair Push. around? Uh, there is, because he's at the radio station. I'll take that chair, I'll bar the door. Okay. And I will begin to draw my ritual circle. Back! Fuck, first. Is there anything to time up with? Um, the cords. I'll take the cords. You'd have to rip them out of the radio. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and your last oh hope <laughs> I'm has been destroyed. This, I'm ripping apart the radio cords and I'm tying them up. His hands and his feet. So I will check. Okay. See how tight you tie those knots. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a bat 20! Uh, no, you tie up. You've never done a more masterful knot in your fucking life. You're yeah, impressed. Needed. <laughs> Even better than the door. <laughs> the door All right. Knot. I'm going to keep the bat on the opposite side of where I'm placing him. I'm going to place him on the left side of the room. That's going to be on the right side of the room, near me. And I'm going to start drawing my ritual circle. Okay, that's going to take you a little bit. Yeah. So for that, we will move back to everyone who's at the church. Uh, we still have Todd chilling in the woods. Are you just waiting for any special cue or moment? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, Gage, uh, Todd, you're in the woods. You're scouting out the church. Uh, you can see lots of movement now inside. Uh, you see the golf cart um, sitting out in front, uh, unused, unmanned, uh, though it is off at this point. Uh, you're still alone in the woods, which makes you an uneasy. You feel like you may have the upper hand. You know, you managed to catch Will in the woods, but at the same time, you know there's another killer out there, which makes you slightly nervous. But What I'm going to do, I'm going to sneak 
further up the path. Uh, okay. Somewhat near to the abandoned cabins that I'm going to, like, while on the trail that the uh, golf cart would drive on, I'm going to put hooks in the ground so that it, like, hopefully it'll break the tires. Ah, uh, the fish hooks. Yeah. Okay, uh, make a survival <laughs> check. Okay. I'm going to use lucky. It's fair, you got two luck left. Survival, you said? Yeah. <laughs> Using luck. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> You have one luck left. Okay, fuck it. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh That's a three. God. Three? Um, you don't really know what to do, so you're holding the hooks. You're like, do it in movies, and you just drop them on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I don't know. You well, don't know I was going to like put them in the ground so that the point is facing upwards. Yeah, but you don't really know what you're doing. And like a line on the road. Okay, you do that, but you don't know if it'll work. Yeah. And you don't know if you really spaced it out properly. You, you don't know. You're just hoping at this point. Yeah. How many hooks would I have had? Uh, four or five. Four. Yeah, you don't. You just need much in there. Yeah. Uh, so you put them out there. You kind of try to dig them in a little bit, uh, which leaves very little point out. But you, you know, you don't really know totally. You haven't really set traps for it. It's not your style. But uh, you're gonna hope for the best. And are you okay. gonna try and hide nearby? Or uh, I'm gonna investigate the cabin closest to the trees on the right side, so kind of out of sight of the road. Okay. So, like, this in here. Yeah, I see, okay, I see what you mean. Waiting at, like, the bend, sort of? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go in there and see if I can find any weapons. Okay. All right. And inside the church, we have everybody mm-hmm. Just figuring out what you want to do. Jessica, William, Riku, uh, uh, Kenneth. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna search the church a little bit um, and just look around and see what there is. Like, because we're in the main, like... Uh, main area. Area. Yeah. There's the alleyway with the six benches on the other side, the raised dais, and the uh, Jesus cross. That's the secret compartment's already open, cleared out. Looks like uh, either um, the priest or Will got it before you did. Okay. Um, do I see anything like between the pews or in like the on the ground at all? Or no, there's not much there. There's some Bibles hidden, and there's like shelves in the back, but that's about it. Okay. Um. All right. Looks uh, like Will already cleared it out. Uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> ooh, um, I say to Will, I'm like, so like, uh, <clears throat> maybe we should take the golf cart back and head to the hall. That's a good idea, but I'd like to know why you guys are here to begin with. I thought we were going to meet up at the main hall. Yeah, that's what I thought, but then Jessica was all like, <laughs> oh, don't put that blame on me. None of this would have happened if you just would have played pigskin with your boy. <laughs> You're saying because I didn't pass the ball with you, <clears throat> someone has died. Well, seems like the ball's in your court now, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> what, what court? We're talking about football. Uh, Listen, the point is, I thought it was ridiculous that you could come here all by yourself. Like that's stupid. Why would you do that? I was trying to get the priest, but that, as I found out, it's no longer needed. <sighs> Did you find anything here? I found the shotgun. That's it? Yeah. Make a deception check. You're in there. Well, I was outside in the back. Oh, 15. The shovel. Oh. oh, right. Yeah, you come in just about this. What'd you roll? Okay. 15. That's what she rolled. <laughs> Defend your wins. Oh, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> you were, you have been saying defender wins because yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. She like frowns. She says, "Okay," and then um, she lets it go. It's not a big deal. So what uh, did I miss? Not much. I mean, we. Regroup- I did some sick fucking drifts. <laughs> Ken, shut up. The point is, we made it back to the hall. Justin trying to fix the radio. Uh, Brother Ferguson and Philip are looking over Trent. And uh, Scary Gary right now. Uh, apparently Ness is dead. <clears throat> the priest is dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been about an hour. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I feel like we should take a rest here before we leave. I, these wounds are really giving me trouble. Yeah, you look like you could use some help, man. You're fucked up. Uh, you guys want to take a short rest then? Okay, so you can take a <laughs> Yeah. 
You can take a short rest in the church and roll some hit dice. Cool. And gain some HP if you Sweet. need it. I'm gonna go uh, lay down in one of the pews, kind of away from people, and try to um, <clears throat> slime back a okay a drink. Make a stealth check. Sleight of hand. Sorry. Oh. Actually, that would probably work better. Uh, a dirty 20. <laughs> no one sees you. You have one left. Uh, you're going to heal. Uh, did you take any damage yet? Uh, I took two hits from... Scary Gary. Yeah. yeah. Until I could, like clobbed him. Okay. All right, so you can expend some hit dice to gain some HP if you want. Sure. <clears throat> Jessica's just going to count her arrows and just lean against one of the pews, try to catch her breath. That's She's metal. Slowly just, like, regaining her composure from her panic attack from earlier. Um, as you guys are resting, uh, you're remaining by the cabins out of sight. Uh, I, I'm investigating the cab- one of the cabins. Oh, my okay, God. Perfect. Roll oh, the, my God. Uh, I just one and then a two check. and then a one. <laughs> 17. Um, so you're looking through the nearest one. They aren't very small. Uh, they're kind of run down. Uh... Lots of nails protruding from the wooden beams, uh, which, just like the outside, turn grayish black, uh, and they creak ominously underneath like each of your footsteps. Uh, it's barren. Uh, a thick sh- a sheet of dust has covered most of the material. Uh, you do, with such a high check, you're looking around under the ruined beds. You find a skeletal corpse that has been like tucked neatly against one of the corners underneath. No one apparently has seen it, which is disturbing to you. Uh, well, no, not to you. Uh, <laughs> also, you find wedged into uh, one of the beams up near the ceiling uh, an axe. Okay. You'd have to climb to the top of one of the bunks I'm to reach it. it. But, okay. Uh, make an acrobatics check. The bunk bed collapses under your weight. That's an eight. An eight. So you grab the axe, but it's the only thing holding you up in the air as the wooden frame. It just couldn't support your weight anymore, and it collapsed. And you hang on. Your weight's a little too much, so it dislodged, and you fall back down on the floor. And it's not a hard fall. You yeah. only take two points of damage. Okay. But you have a rusted axe, okay. which is a <coughs> plus one weapon that deals uh, 1d8 plus your strength and additional d4 of poison damage. Okay, awesome. And then you're just going to wait for the rest to return? Uh, I'm going to take some of the nails out of the boards and then just put those on the road to you a bit. Okay, roll another survival check. It's a four. <laughs> My poor guy. Uh, just like the other job, you're not sure. You think it could work? Yeah. You just, you better hope you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we'll go back to Brother Ferguson. You've completed your circle. Your markings are done. Uh, you found some candles in a nearby cupboard. Not many, and not the black or red that you like, but it'll do. Okay. I guess it's time. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Justin has slowly begun to awaken. Oh, I'm he's at groaning, grab- and he looks a little out of it. He's like, oh, his hands are tied, and he's bound. What the fuck? I'm gonna drag him into the circle. What are you? What are you doing to me? Uh, uh, Justin. Oh, how you feeling? What kind of fucking priest are you? <laughs> oh, the lovely kind. Oh, um, man. Don't, sh- don't worry. I'm going to free you soon. All right. Soon you won't feel anything anymore. You will be ridden of this fearful camp and all its pain. <laughs> you saw a flicker of hope and then you said, soon you won't feel anything anymore and that hope or dies. And he just goes... Philip, <laughs> I go <laughs> straight up, just punch him right in the mouth. Uh, he falls to the ground. He goes, oh, blood streaming from his lip. Goes, uh, I cover oh. his mouth. <laughs> and I get real close. I go, Philip, wait, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I see a look of like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be very quiet now. And you know why? <laughs> You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lean even closer, and as I do, I'm going to change my face to its scarecrow form. And you see his the mouth gapes open wide, straw, like, pointed, almost like as sharp as fangs, and like a dark, pitch black interior that seems endless, and eyes with, like, two glowing, like, fire, like, spherical 
pupils. <laughs> and it's absolutely terrifying. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> No place in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, with intimidation. 19. 19. He passes out. <laughs> and that's why. Uh, okay. It is, yeah, no, it's time. I guess I didn't expect to succeed this quickly. Um, the right victim, bro. I'm going to grab a nice sharp object. Uh, uh, it looks very sharp around here. Um, There isn't much you could... Bash the radio in, you think, and use a shard from there. All right, I'm going to grab the baseball bat and I'm going to smack the shit out of the radio. Oh God, All right. To reveal the sharp. Now, truthfully, your final hopes of using the radio are officially dead. But That's yes, true. you managed to break off the plastic and the little metal shards, and you have a. You think it's definitely <laughs> sharp enough to do the job. You're not really trying to be clean about it, so. Ah, oh, good. Oh, finally, after so long, I get to feel again. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab his head. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to cut his throat open inside the circle. Blood spews out. Uh, it spills onto the f- uh, floor like a crimson waterfall. I'm drop nice. to my knees and spread my arms out to the skies. <laughs> the light on the candles that surround your circle begin to glow brighter and turn red. Uh, the blood s- seeps into the wood, and it's, it looks like it's being sucked in like a sponge. And all of a sudden, the candles burst into flame. And you hear the loud, booming voice of your lord. You have done it, my son. (laughs) Yes, yes. Give me my prize. Yes, yes. These long years of wait. I knew you would succeed. (laughs) You will feel again. (laughs) Your prize is two tickets to Hawaii (laughs) Resort. (laughs) Yes! Um, You watch as the body of Justin begins to decompose. Like a body normally would, but it had a creepy fast rate skin begins to fleck away the bones begin to erode flesh melts and then eventually he just turns into dust and is seeped into the wood as long as well and with his life force gives you new life as your body your scarecrow body begins to formulate skin once again you can feel blood pulsing through you (laughs) you are now a regular boy (laughs) I'm a real boy (laughs) I'm a real boy I look different uh, you look like your normal human form. Only this time, it's you can't turn yourself into a scarecrow again. You're a, you're a real boy. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, and you see the deep voice. You see, you used to doubt me, but now, see, I am a god. <laughs> I can do shit. Smile. I can do shit. <laughs> Never waver in your duty. No. Oh. I'll never. Oh, I feel great. I feel wonderful. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's just a word. Now, what will you do, my son? There are many more you can sacrifice to the Lord. Or, I don't know. You can do whatever you want, really. I don't know if I can do that anymore. I don't have my abilities. I am a normal boy. I've achieved what I wanted. I won't hold you to no oath. You've... you've Proven yourself worthy of my love. Do I get more rewards? Don't be a greedy bastard. I gave you a cool whip that you just fucking left on the floor. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was kind of scummy, Ferguson. You think I could just make whips appear out of anywhere? It requires energy. Don't be a brat. Now you should leave. You have a friend that you don't want to meet coming downstairs. Downstairs. And then you hear like his deep booming laughter. <laughs> and it just dissipates. And you're left. The light turns to normal. You're alone in a room with a shattered radio. Good. Chalk on the floor. Candles melted into puddles of wax. Okay. And you hear nothing downstairs. Um. Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the room. <laughs> okay, you make your way. Down the hall? Are you, where are you, where are you going? Just heading downstairs? Or? Take a deep breath. <sighs> it nice. feels refreshing to breathe. <laughs> and yes, I will go rejoin um, downstairs. All right. Um, make a perception check. Okay. That's a one. <laughs> uh, you start walking down the stairs. It's creaking. You're not trying to hide anymore. You're giddy, you know? I'm excited. The best part is you realize 
there's no evidence. <laughs> the body disappeared. <laughs> you feel great. <laughs> uh, so you walk straight past the fireplace. Uh, you look down the hallway. You're like, where's Philip? Uh, and then you turn around, and that's when you see Philip. Uh, impaled against the mantel place with a machete through the back of his throat. The blade Ooh. about four inches deep into the brick wall of the mantel place. Yeah. Now you won't have to kill him. The flames are flicking at his boots and his jeans, and you notice that Trent and Scary Gary are both MIA. They're missing. Uh oh. You see wow. blood trails leading out towards the back door down the hallway. You just looked, you were like, oh, I didn't see that blood trail. Must not have been paying attention. Uh, but yeah, you see that, and you also see bloody footsteps heading to the front entrance. Otherwise, it's okay, well, this, deserted. This Otherwise, looks- it's the exact same as you. Otherwise, it's deserted, and your new friend Philip is fucked up. This looks like I sort of failed my job. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go into the kitchen. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going gra- to grab a knife. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to stab myself in the shoulder. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Not roll, all the way in. Just roll the hit. <laughs> <laughs> roll damage. D4 <laughs> plus one. Okay. Someone already took the plus two knife. Mm-hmm. Two. Uh, plus your strength. Plus my strength, so two. You take two <laughs> points of damage as blood begins to pour from the wound. Oh, good. Okay. But you do not frown. You've been waiting years for this. This feels oh great. God. If anything, you smile. Oh, I do. Does that mean you'll experience your first erection? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to start searching for a way to patch patch up my wound now. Okay, uh, there is the bathrooms. Check those out. I will go the investigate only the bathrooms. pipe bathroom in the camp. Uh, roll an investigation check. Okay. You're not worried that that guy's not going to come and fucking murder you? Negative. <laughs> that's, ooh, that's just a 19 plus my investigation. Okay, you do find in the bathrooms uh, two medicine kits. And kitchen, you already found everything there was, <laughs> unless you want to grab a bite to eat. As well... You find another one of those weird toolkits that look like toolkits, but they're not, like, the right size. I don't know. I'm going to pick it up. Okay. Uh, you open it, and it is a flare gun. Oh. doesn't look like it has anything, like, extra bullets, but when you open it up, you look, there is... It's loaded. It's got one shot in it's it. It's got one shot in it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm still wearing my priest clothes. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find, like, a backpack or a satchel somewhere to keep these objects in. Uh, heading upstairs, uh, in Philip's room, you can find his satchel. Uh, yeah, I'll take Philip's satchel. Okay, so you use that. <coughs> um, there isn't much else. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to check the whole house. The main hall, like the whole hall. Uh, I'm going to use of. a med kit first. Yeah, uh, roll a uh, medicine check. Okay. Uh, oh, um, oh, 11. Uh, 1d6. You heal 1d6. Three. Okay. Nice. And then you're exploring? Uh, well, I'm going to take that knife that I stabbed myself with, and I'm going to open a door and check it really far outside, like into the trees. So there's... All you see is the gentle rustle of the branches against the cool breeze of the night. Nice. <laughs> knife goes flying in there. I need to get rid of it. You, you, okay. Uh, it disappears into the sea of green. Cool. I don't need anyone coming back and be like, oh, why is this knife bloody? Which door did you go out of? Um, is there a back door? There's the side door from the kitchens, which leads straight into the woods, or there's the front door that leads down into the pathway. Uh, would have been the side door. I just want to get it out of Okay. Uh, the blood door. trail continues in the dirt, about two feet that you notice, <clears throat> and then stops. You don't know. Well, that's concerning for me, so I'm not going to follow that. That My instincts say badness. Past that, though, you see the two outhouses and then the woods. Hmm, okay. The blood trail looks like it was heading towards the outhouses, and then it fades. So you're not sure if they went there, they went in the woods, or if they turned around, or where, you don't know. Okay, well, I'd... being a normal boy now, <laughs> and um, actually having... Feeling fear and stuff again, which is nice. Uh, I'm not going to go out there. Not alone. Not, uh, unarmed. That seems foolish and ridiculous. And my intelligence is very high for that. Good point. Uh, <clears throat> you would be smart enough to know 
that Philip has a key to the other golf cart. And if there's two blood trails, that means one went with the killer and one ran away. Or you can at least assume that. One ran away, all right. Because um, one was drag marks, one was footsteps. I'm going to go snag that key off Philip's body. Okay. Um, the golf cart is just outside the front door and around towards the parking lot where the kids were going to come in the morning. Uh, there's a gun a golf cart there you can take. Okay. I'm going to go and grab my aluminum bat so I have a weapon again. Okay. Are you keeping a woman bat? And what else do you have on you? Uh, I have the bat. I have the medicine kits. Just one now. Yeah, just one now. Uh, I have the flare gun. Okay. And so flare gun is a plus one firearm that deals 2d10 uh, fire damage. 2d10? Yeah. Or you can shoot it in the air to alert attention. Okay. It's plus one. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, <clears throat> now that I'm all equipped and ready, yeah, I'll go, I'm going to investigate both sets of those prints to see which one seems like it would not be the killer. The footsteps seem logical to you that would not be the killer, be the drag marks. Okay, all right, um, I'm becoming battle priest now. <laughs> Essentially. I'm going to get in that golf cart, uh, I'll turn it on. The footsteps lead out the front door. And then down straight towards uh, Creepy Creek, which you know is across that there's Cabin 7, uh, another ring of kids' cabins, and the archery range. I guess that's where we'll go next. Yeah. You also see the tire marks leading off to the right, which are, you know, is the golf cart from Jessica, Kenneth, and Riku when they were heading towards the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it might be good to regroup now. But you do see footprints of someone heading alone. South towards Creepy Creek. All right, you know what? I'm going to hold on to that information. I'm going to go and follow those tire tracks. To the church? I'm going to go to the church. Okay. Speaking of flat, <coughs> back to the church. <laughs> you guys have finished your short rest. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you you have a plan? Um, <laughs> search outside. Then. When we open up the door, if nothing's there, then head back to the main hall. So we can radio out. Okay. Uh, you look outside, make perception checks. Ooh, I am actually going to give a speech before we leave, though. I don't um, I can romance Jessica. More than you can definitely try. Okay. Well, um, so I got some pretty bad balls right now. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this regarding uh, <coughs> we're, we're looking out, but also... You said you were looking outside, yeah? Yeah. 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 25. 9. Seven, but I also have advantage, right? For hearing or smell. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm yeah also listening. so yeah, advantage. Uh, Eleven. Uh, you see him off in the woods, too far away. You could easily, you think if you guys were in, you could make it to the golf cart easy, but you see the hulking figure just standing in the trees. That's not menacing at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Staring at you. So not holding the machete anymore, though. It's weird. Knowing what we're going to go up against, I go into my role as a leader and I start <laughs> inspiring my fellow uh, American companions. comrades. Comrade, comrade. I, comrade. I'm William Somerset, and I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance <laughs> of tyranny. Oh God! <laughs> you have to come to fight as free men. And free man you are. <laughs> what will you do with that free man? Will you fight? Yes. No! <laughs> yes, bro. Guys, I fight, and you may die. Run, and you will live at least a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance? Just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom. <laughs> and I kick open the door and I run to the oh my golf cart. God, dude. <laughs> you Holy see Jessica shit. like, is, is that Braveheart? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but then she follows I, quickly outside. I'm, I follow him after that. Yeah, yeah like that uh, inspired me. Also, I'm also carrying my oar. You guys all get 15 temporary 
Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Sweet. So that doesn't add to your total. That's just, just 15 good. extra. So next time you take damage, it takes from that yeah. first. Yeah, that's why there's a... Uh, what else does that do? It's literally just 15 to have health. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. Perfect. That's awesome. I am... Yeah, I inspired. Through the roof. <laughs> I just run up Riku's alley. I run with my... Like, I have my ore at the ready. Yeah, I've got one shovel stats, by the way. Uh, shovel? Yeah. That is a... Let's see. Let me get a plus five. <laughs> no. It's definitely not a plus five. That's stupid. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, where the hell is it? Sorry. The church is missing. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sorry, shovel is a plus one versatile melee Dude. weapon. Dude! Uh, so it does 1d6 with one-handed, or 1d8 with two hands. Bludgeoning damage, and it uses your strength modifier. Cool. 1d6, 1d8? Yep. Oh, and the shotgun uh, is 2d12. Not 1d12. That was my oh, bad. okay. That was my bad. I read that wrong. I was reading a different weapon stat. It's a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> it should deal decent damage. So you guys jump in the golf cart? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, who's driving? I call uh, shotgun. I am. Um, <laughs> fuck off. Jessica gives you a look of annoyance, but then jumps in the back with Riku. Yeah, I definitely get it. With Your weave senses tingle. Um, uh, <laughs> I throw in the keys and I start her up. The engine roars to life. Uh, the lights flicker on and you see uh, the hulking figure is not moved. Rather unnerving, but uh, he lets you drive away. I flip him off as we drive by. He starts moving. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got... Um, yeah, we rip away. And you guys are heading towards the main <coughs> Yeah. Okay, so as you're going down the pathway, <coughs> heading towards the abandoned cabins, uh, you f- make a... No, you know what? Uh, this first set, you feel something like underneath the tires, like a little like weird thing, and then like... You don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, you keep going. Nothing has happened. Uh, you tear through the other side, and that's when your right tire pops. What? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> which right front, right? Right back. front tire. Okay. You don't know what the hell just happened, but it it popped. Um, and you start veering sharp to the left. I'm yanking on that thing to keep it on the on the path. You're just going to keep going? It's pretty yeah. bad for yourself. Oh, no, suspension. that ain't going to stop me. <laughs> Here goes my alignment, boys! My alignment, boys! You veer sharp to the right. It's super bumpy now. Uh, Riku and Jessica are bouncing up and down like pinballs in the back. Uh, I take the opportunity no. <laughs> to get as close to her as I can. Uh, <laughs> you start good. bumping into her... It yeah. starts to feel like it's a little on purpose, might, but she's a little busy at the moment. You might fucking die. Where are your priorities? <laughs> Make a I per- fucking die. <laughs> Make a performance check. See if yes. you can keep it on track. Because it's I, only I the one wheel. It's I hard, but... Can't. Find a girlfriend. I'm gonna fucking find a girlfriend. Uh, a dirty 20... Um, uh, somehow you manage to keep her going. Uh, yeah. you make the right turn, the right oh, turn. You're such a good fucking driver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can feel it yanking Dude, you to left, but you, you don't know how many weekends I spent out on the golf course. <laughs> you, you, you keep yanking to the right, keep it on track. Uh, you're making the left turn towards the showers when all of a sudden you see another blinding light in your eye as the other golf cart is going exactly the same way as you are. You're about to hit. Both of you make performance checks. Oh, this oh. is going to feel great. Uh-oh, spaghetti. I hope you, you know I'm not trying to miss them. <laughs> That's a nine. Keep in mind, I'm not going out of the way. Yeah, nine. I'm trying to hit him. What? I can feel again. <laughs> What'd you roll? I rolled a nine, dude. Oh. <laughs> Please. That's a... I'm trying right. to dodge it. Performance? Like, just so you know. Ooh. That's a 12. 12? Uh, you try to dodge, uh, so you veer instinctively. You start veering to the right. Well, or, sorry. Which side is Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to affect how I... <laughs> the left side. Your side. Driver's side. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You try to dodge out of the way. You do, for I the most to... part, you didn't roll very high. Uh, so you do clip the left side, the back left side of the thing, and it sends your golf cart spinning. Mm. And then eventually you run straight first into the showers, the sidewall. The ceramic white tiles crack and like break against the, uh, the impact. Your lights flicker out, and the engine just like a... <laughs> dies. 
Damn. And you're stranded, crashing the thing. Everybody takes three. Oh, only one hit point of damage. <laughs> nice. Um, what the fuck was that? And then you see behind you in the other golf cart, I'm assuming, are you stopping? Yeah, or? I'm slamming on the brakes and turning the cart around. <laughs> Sam's on the brakes, turn the car around. You see Brother Ferguson looking strangely excited uh, in the driver's seat. I try restarting the golf cart that that we crashed. I'm assuming it's not going to start. Uh, you turn it. and it goes. And it won't I turn hate on. that sound. Damn. I'm going I, to. I pull the keys though and I pocket them. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm going to casually just pull up to their trashed cart. You fellas need a ride? I punch oh. him in the face. <laughs> uh, roll the hit. What do I add? Strength. <laughs> Just your strength. Okay. 12. My armor class is 13. Uh, you go to punch him in the face, but you're in the shotgun sheet of your car, and he's in the driver's seat. So, what? I'm assuming I would have jumped out. Okay, well, you jumped out, and you go to hit him, and but he sees you, like, coming at him, and I'll just, just dodges to the side of it. Your fist miss- misses. Just barely, but it misses. <laughs> okay. Yo, uh, bro Ferguson... You almost crashed into us, dude. Yeah. Well, actually, in fact, you did. And then we hit the showers. <laughs> Fellas, I'm and so sorry. What the fuck are you doing? I li- okay, I didn't expect to see another car on the road coming in my direction. I don't have exactly quick reflexes. Where is everyone else? Well, that's a bit of a toughie. Um, I can explain on the way. If you guys want to get in the cart, I can take you to where, where are we no, going? No, man, I don't oh, fucking what? trust you. I went to the church and the priest was dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's why I didn't want you to go there. Mm, yeah, Oh, like uh, story. <laughs> you would notice that Todd is missing from this group. Hold on. <laughs> Not all of us are here. Yeah, no shit. Philip is back at the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Justin is there as well. <laughs> Same with Shrimp and Gary. <laughs> Where are they, bro? Kenneth, no, Kenneth. I'm talking about Todd. Oh, yeah, no. He's a murderer. <laughs> but so... <laughs> okay. Where... And I'm pretty sure so are you. I am not a murderer. I have never killed a single person in my life. Now, what the fuck happened to the priest? The big guy got him. I was going there to talk with him because I've been trying to get in the church for like ever. And then the big guy showed up behind him before and I tried to warn him, but he didn't listen. Can I incite him because he's acting really different than he used to? I'm very excitable now. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I still feel like you're lying to me. Negative, Captain. Uh, 13. 13. It's weird that he's so excited, but you don't think anything's wrong. Okay. Why didn't you tell us that before? I was a little horrified and traumatized from what I've seen. I didn't want you guys to be subjected to the same feelings I had. The guy tried to kill Trent. Who tried to kill Trent? The big dude with the knife. Well, yeah, I know that. But I just, uh, it was too, it was so gruesome. I mean, you were there, you saw it. Wasn't a pretty sight. You can't blame me for not wanting to tell you about it. Speaking of, where is Trent? I'm gonna. Well, I would be pretty far in the woods by now, again. Yeah, you did and see that your nails worked, and a part of you was yeah. like, fuck yeah. And then <laughs> I mimic Trent's scream, and just scream. Oh. All right. Oh, you have that? Yeah, as an actor, I do. Okay, make, uh, do you have to roll a deception then? Yeah. Or performance? Uh, mm-hmm. it can be either. Okay, roll that. Uh, and you guys roll perception checks to see if you even hear. I have advantage on this. Okay, because they're a little far away now. But that's a yeah, twenty. <laughs> you mimic it perfectly. Uh, it only matters if they hear. Fifteen. S- uh, sixteen. Six. Oh, sorry. Uh, twelve. Uh, you two can wait. What'd you roll? Twelve. Never mind. Sorry. You rolled fifteen. Did you roll? Fourteen. 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 Okay. You're the only one who hears it. Fuck. <laughs> You hear Trent screaming up north towards the abandoned cabins. Everyone hush. You guys hear that? The scream goes again. It sounds just like Trent. He's screaming. He's up by the abandoned cabins. How'd you miss him? I don't. I don't hear shit. Okay. I like, I hear well, no. After this, after the second time, you would have been listening <sighs> for it, and you'd okay. hear it. Um, that kind of helps me explain a little more of what's going on. Yeah. How did See. Trent get up there? He was with you at the hall. The guy showed up at the hall. Trent? Yes. No. The, <laughs> the big man. What happened? Look, uh, I went to the bathroom. 
okay, I, I just need to use the bathroom. It's been a while, and man's got to pee. And uh, I, I heard a lot of screaming and noise. Um, when I came back downstairs, Philip was impaled on a spike, if you want to see for yourself. Um, and Gary and Trent were gone. What about Justin? He, I went to, when I went to go check on him, he wasn't there. Make a deception check. 26. 26, does anyone want insight? <laughs> I mean... Oh, no, wait, that's 16. 24. I got 25. I got a... Thing. A bat one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... You forgot who Justin was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to insight. Five. <laughs> okay, you believe him. Uh, when he mentions that Justin is gone, he seems a little shifty about the subject, like he might know more, but he doesn't... But he makes it sound like he... It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, honestly, I don't trust you. Everywhere you go, people die. You can go fucking find Trent. I'm going go to the main hall to call somebody. So you're saying you're not going to get in the golf cart? No, I'm already walking towards the main hall. I'm leaving this conversation. Mike Actually, <laughs> okay, well, he's dead. What might make more sense is if you're going to go check on Trent, you should walk and give us the cart so we can all go to the hall. That does not make any sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Are you not getting in the cart? Actually, I stop him. Like, actually, Kenneth has a lot of uh, good ideas with that. <laughs> give us the cart. <laughs> At this point, Jessica's like, yeah, you should... Probably give us the cart. I'm gonna toss it in reverse and hit the gas. Uh, you were, didn't you step out when he punched you in the face? No, I stayed in the cart the whole time. I just hit tap the gas so it moved a little more. Get out of the punch. Okay, uh, make a per- uh, performance. I don't like how they're trying to take. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Kenneth, you walk forward as if to grab the wheel from him, and then all of a sudden you're grabbing thin air as the vehicle just shoots backwards. Uh, into almost hits a tree, but you manage to turn it at the right time and let go of the gas. So your vehicle just turns like sideways, stalwart, and then you turn. Where are you headed? Which way are you going? I'm gonna go follow Trent's voice because okay. I know Trent's actually missing, and I think that might be him. You head north up towards the abandoned cabins, and you Be- four are left Be- abandoned again. Before he takes off, can I like try to spear him with the oar? Uh make an attack roll with disadvantage because he's driving away. He's gonna but he's going to stop like when he goes in reverse. Yeah, but he'll back up like 20 feet. So That's true. Your range doesn't reach all up. right, all right. You can try and hit him as he begins to pull away. Okay. Um, or as a plus two weapon. And it's strength. So roll d20, add your strength, and then add plus two. All right. Uh, 17 and disadvantage. Yeah. Or 17. Wow. Okay. Um, he cracks you across the face, and he deals... So I want to should I roll for it? Or one yeah, roll damage. Hit, okay. hit him. Oh, sweet. <laughs> you hit Are you him? trying to be gentle about it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hopefully Folk. like either knock him off. You or can say it's non-lethal damage, but you still deal damage. Uh, twelve. Twelve strength, and then yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, take twelve damage, and then since I wasn't expecting <clears> this, so you have to roll your performance check again. Why? Uh, as you're backing up, because you got fucking smacked in the face. God damn it. <laughs> Jeez, Disadvantage because you got smacked in the face. All right. Um, performance, so. 21. Disadvantage. Oh, with disadvantage? Um, <laughs> 16. 16. You are seeing stars, and as you back up, you do the same thing as before. Like I said, like, let's rewind here. And you do it again, only this time with a head wound. Uh, the side of your golf cart slams into the tree as you make the turn, but it's still running, and you have plenty of time before they can even think to run up. You drive off towards the abandoned cabins. Okay. But Fuck, now that you right. have a normal human body again, that really fucking hurt. <laughs> that was great, though. <laughs> I, go, I go pick up my oar. Yeah, you pick it up, uh, and you see you, you eat his dust. Essentially, as he leaves a cloud behind him, and you guys are left abandoned. I just felt threatened. You guys wanted to that part. wasn't very cool. <laughs> just because, like, I'm sorry, I could have pegged him with an arrow. I think I really just wasn't expecting him to fucking drive away. Get your act together, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. Okay. Listen. We, oh man, if Trent's missing, oh, maybe we should go look for him. 
I mean, honestly, fuck Gary. <laughs> but Trent, like, that's a nice guy. I'm gonna stand there, like, off in the mm. shadows, kind of <laughs> emo, and I was like, Trent's already dead. Which <laughs> I know that he was able to mimic voices. Uh, you heard him try to mimic a voice, and he failed. Okay. But would I would have known that that was him, or would I have known, would have thought that that was Riku? Like earlier on when. Oh, happened. oh, uh, well, he rolled a natural 20 deception. You think it's Trent? No. Okay. Yeah, you think that's Trent. That scream sounds just like Trent. You're not really thinking straight. That's Trent. <clears throat> yeah. Speaking of that, you are in the woods nearby, right? Yeah. Uh, you made your scream. What's your next plan of action? Uh,. I was gonna do a make a trap between two trees, so putting the fishing line between two trees around neck height. Okay. Uh, Should grab some piano water. As you're working on that, you uh, feel a hand on your shoulder, and you whirl around, and it's Scary Gary. Uh, serious head wound against his head. He's bleeding. Uh, you can see like a big bump, and he's like. What? what are you doing? Where is everybody? Gary, Gary, oh, thank God you're alive here. Uh, let's, <laughs> I'll take you back to the main hall. You don't look so good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, man, I I think Trent got taken. We should look for Trent. I mean, yes, oh. we, we should. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's near the main hall. That's where uh, I think they were going to take him. Or where they took him. Would... Would Gary know that Trent got taken? The last thing he remembers, I clobbed him when he saw. No, but like the footsteps uh, were apparently they were scary Gary, and he saw blood trails too. He just left before you came downstairs. Oh, oh, sorry, pardon yeah. me. All good. So apparently, scary Gary made his way over here, and he's found you. And you want to take him back to the main hall? Um, yeah. fuck that. <laughs> There's a dead guy, literally impaled in the mantelpiece. I don't know where the hell Justin is. Ferguson's missing. Okay. The hell, I'm going back to that place. We need to find the others. Okay, uh... Let's go to the church. There's a man in the church there. He can probably help us then. Okay, yeah, no, sure, man. Whatever you want. What are you doing, by the way? I got lost. So you're setting a trap? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, that is where we'll... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I said, I was at him with my axe. <laughs> Never oh, mind, that is where we'll end this episode of Bat 20. Bat 20. <laughs> Panics. I'm just gonna slap the bags. Panics murders. <laughs> it's like.